hello everyone and in this video I'm going to share with you another minor but very important update on dismemberment uh, script I made yesterday so you know I noticed very 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 serious glitch in my script uh, so here we go I need to make my time 10 times slower first of all so you can see what's the problem I have I had used to have yeah I go to script and I and I enable this uh, holding variable so we now holding our guy and we are cutting his body into parts and you can see boom no it's not proper sorry so uh, this is what you what you saw it's fixed fixed version and I want to show you what was before so, so I'm going back to my so this is variable I added to script together with some uh, you know some changes so I made this variable false and you will see how it was before so it was yesterday so I I press play and we are going back to script and this is how it was before you can see so his so his uh, legs are moving properly naturally but uh, the torso is just falling down just like uh, you know not very natural okay uh, and what I had to do to fix this I have to transfer velocities and angular velocities from initial parts of ragdoll to dismemberment to to dismembered parts of his ragdoll to clone in short words and here I go I have here variables for spine head bone for arm left hand left for arm right hand right and I transferred all the velocities from uh, initial parts of uh, ragdoll to clone and look if I have this variable true and I'm going to make it true now through inspector this function I mean this will work so I make this true here where is it true and we will see what's the, what is the difference so you saw right so uh, so this uh, torso is not moving properly not very natural and now I'm going to, uh, to do this Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to release his body from the hook once again. Okay. And now he is moving more, more natural, more properly. So his dismembered parts of body, you know, ha you know, have the proper velocity. And please don't look at this error. This error is connected not to dismemberment. This error is connected to my script. So this debug script so it's not very necessary you know so the script is optional not necessary uh, for dismemberment to work yeah and it's about you know his body I mean the script so I will not show you the script I will not show you because it will you know waste your time this script will be will be available in description of this video feel free to copy and to use it for your projects and now let's go to inspector so what I have here I have here this is not where necessary script is for debug I have here uh, our ragdoll and we have this script attached to this ragdoll to root to root of our ragdoll but basically it's not the root so this is uh, like you know a parent object right no, look, uh, this is a root, it's a root, yeah, so this is a ragdoll, this one, and I have this uh, script attached to this ragdoll, and a major, so in my previous, I, I explained you how this script does work, and for knowledge, you have to, you know, how to, it does work, watch my previous videos, two previous videos, thank you, thanks, okay, 
so I have here a spine one, sp uh, leg, uh, left, left, or left leg and right leg. Spine two is a new variable I added today. Uh, so it's needed to transfer velocities, and this is what I have here. Assign it. Uh, blood. Yep. Blood. It's for its object uh, uh, for this projector. So the projector is you know, is making uh, you know this uh, uh, m material to be projected onto some object, and I have here layers, layer of our guy, no collision one, and you can see that this guy has layer no collision one. So we pro so we project our blood only onto his body, and you may notice we, you may notice that this blood is projected not only onto his torso but all but also onto his legs, a dismembered parts of his body. Uh, so why it's happening? It's happening because uh, this blood component, this uh, game object, is located in in uh, spine. So this spine is a part of uh, uh, the body which will be cloned, instantiated during dismemberment. So we will clone uh, his body and cut his parts and this blood component will be in uh, initial ragdoll and in dismembered part of his body so it, it will be preserved there and here and uh, this this object uh, actually not not activated we activate it only uh, if we cut his body and if this script is activated this uh, not script this game object we have this blood on our character and also we have here particle system enabled because we have a particle system as a child of this blood uh, game object and I have here uh, some changes some very important changes in this particle system so I have a direction a duration of 3 seconds uh, delay no delay and this is very important. So a start color, you know, I pick it where you know natural color of blood. And uh, 171 30 30. And uh, simulation to the world, not local space. Because the world means that our blood will not uh, will not um, follow our uh, character. So we will emit blood not to character space, local space. To the, we will emit our blood particles to the world so the blood will be more real so you can play with this very you know uh, with this uh, options to world or to local so I I use world and this is very important for your performance if you have a very slow machine so you can play with uh, uh, you know number of, you know with this number uh, so if you have very very uh, <coughs> slow machine you you can try with uh, 1024 for instance and 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 uh, increase size you know this is for uh, filling of the volume so how how soon and how many uh, particles will be in your volume so the bigger value the bigger number of particles and you know and uh, how faster they will Fill your volume. In my case, volume is cone. Why cone? Because you know, if you have a small bound, uh, so it will be a sphere. But in my case, I have very big open trauma. So it's blood rushing from this uh, torso, and I have to use cone uh, shape. Angle is proper, you know, for uh, I know for. Um, such kind of uh, wound trauma and I have here radius it's not very big like it was before and also very important here to note uh, the color for our blood so you may notice that you know your you know so blood may change color so if blood is just you no know, rushing from your finger right so it will be bright red and it will turn into darker color later sooner or later eventually so in my case I, I have here you know a bright dark I mean bright uh, bright in the beginning then such color uh, 171 30 30 
and darker. This one. 10300. And size. So once again, we have very serious trauma is open wound. Blood is rushing from our wound, from torso and from legs. And we have to simulate very very fast and rapid uh, blood rushing from from the wound. So here I increase size of uh, of the particle very rapidly, and then I play with you know this uh, with chaotically jumping from the uh, you know from a medium size of, of particle to minimum and then back to maximum and then you know it's going to disappear you know to make smaller and smaller to, you know, to fade out this blood will fade out <coughs> so once again uh, so yeah, yeah so make sure you, you don't have here open enabled and attach this game object as child to your blood so it, so in my case I use this as child you know to make you know less less lines of code in my script so and uh, this is how it does look like and if I enable this blood right I will also enable this particle and the particle will be will the particle will be in my cut uh, torso and cut uh, leg so it's very very easy very yeah so let me just show you what I have here. So I'm going to, you know, once again increase increase size of his head. For instance, uh, where is his head? Yeah, head and maybe hand make him look like Chihuahua. I mean, not Chihuahua, you know this monster oh ha, ha, look like like blood sucker from uh, from stalker or or like you know this uh, monster from amnesia or like freddy freddy i mean not freddy you know this guy who is scratching uh, school birds okay and now I'm going to script. So once again, if you can see this error, red error, please don't pay attention to this. This script is not necessary for dismemberment. It's just for debug, so just, just you know, never mind. Yeah. And we. And we cut his body apart. Yeah. So I hope, so I, guys, I hope this will be last video on dismemberment script because you know I'm not going to update. I mean to upload any new video on it. You know, so you know, like you know, I find you know a small minor glitch right and you know I'm uploading video so you know I'm I'm not going to do this because it's going to take all space of Google servers 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 yeah and once again you know uh, you may notice here you know uh, guys falling from the sky uh, so why I show you them here because you know it's my idea for next uh, dismemberment um, you know version so you know uh, so this guy survived but this guy is falling onto his body and uh, you know he's mm, kicking his head off his uh, neck but this guy survived who was you know uh, higher but this guy also was where but this guy also was on the same height but he 
did not survive because uh, he had uh, nobody above him. So, what? What happened to his? Ah, I forgot to turn off this uh, this blow. Where is it? Yeah, sure. I'm so once again. So you may so you may see it right now. So this guy, so this guy and this guy, they are on the same height. But this guy will die because he has nobody to fall onto. And this guy, look, so he also survived. But this guy jumped onto his head and kicked his head off. And this guy, you know, lost his limbs and uh, arm. Oh, so this is how I'm going to simulate um, crazy, crazy, realistic uh, jumping and dismemberment in my future projects. Maybe, maybe I'm going to use it in Five Nights at Teddy's 2.0. 2.0. Maybe. Oh my God. Now it looks looks <laughs> a way too realistic. So scary sometimes. Okay. Okay guys. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. Script as is always available uh, in description of this video. Yeah. End of the video. Bye.